Hi, today I just want to share with you some information as to how to pick the suburbs or cities with the most potential for profit in the next coming 12 months. Now obviously the things to look for is things such as rising population, you know, infrastructure being moved into town if they're a country town, right? You're looking at things like, you know, other pressures from the outside coming in, like whether, you know, like on the Gold Coast, for example, there's a lot of people coming to the Gold Coast all the time. And even though at the moment the market is depressed, it is going to move. And when it does move, it moves really, really fast and in the right direction, which is up. Uh, and some cities and suburbs in Australia are like that. They're like lying dormant, 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 and suddenly boom. They always take up. The thing you should always watch for is basically population increases, right? And that it's got the infrastructure to support the population increase when it does happen. The other thing to look for at the moment is, is the fact that there is an undersupply of new stock because there has been a real shortage of uh, you know, new buildings, new apartment blocks here on the Gold Coast, for example. So there's that underpinning demand that's going to just explode and mean that you're going to have you know, a, a growth potential in that, you know, in that suburb. If you're in a large city, uh, the other thing to look at is maybe other suburbs that have gone up with a suburb right next to them which is still in a depressed or a, or a much lower median values and that again means that it's likely to go up to catch up with the suburbs around it. It might not catch up as much but you're still going to get a rise eventually from that you know from that suburb. Um, I don't think regional towns such as Cobbs Harbour, if you think about Cobbs Harbour there's been a lot of retirees of age group 55 to 65 moving into that town. So it also indicates that it's becoming a popular destination for retirees, which would again put an upward price pressure on the properties that are currently there. It is still very affordable compared to the major cities. So you get people from Melbourne, from Sydney moving there. Also, it's got a very strong holiday market. It's a very popular holiday destination. There's quite a few, you know, obviously um, uh, infrastructures there. There's, there's uh, clubs, there's, you know, entertainment there. So obviously it's an attractive place for people to visit and it will continue to, uh, you know, to rise. And, and the prediction is that it will again boom as a coastal area, which is going to be in high demand. I hope that's been helpful. Until the next video, I'll see you again. Hey guys, now if you want to get instant access to all my free videos, reports, you know, case studies, and, and other useful tools in order to make money in the real estate business, please head over to our website right now. It's all there for you, absolutely free. Just go over there now.